Live from somewhere in the Midwest, Netters Network and YouTube bring you Netters Network Retro Cinema. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Netters Network Retro Cinema. Tonight we'll be watching, I consider it to be a classic, the Dark Crystal. If you've never seen it before, you are definitely in for a treat. Joining me, of course, tonight is my partner in crime, that fluffy teddy bear, Big Al. Big Al presents. How are you doing mm -hmm. tonight, sweetie? And what are you sipping on? I am doing well. I have my Diet Mountain Dew, and I'm ready to get the fizz gig going. <laughs> That's why I introduced you as that fluffy teddy bear. Yes. <laughs> Also joining us tonight, of course, is the love of my life. You all know him as Carton the Klingon Cleric. Well, some of you should. Some of you know him as that guy behind the bar. And the rest of you know him as Last Call with Troy Pacelli. How are you doing tonight, sweetie? And what are you sipping I'm on? I'm doing really well, and I'm sipping on a, a zero sugar grapefruit soda. And I just want to warn everybody, never ever confuse a fizz gig with a merkin. Ooh. You don't know what a merkin is? Look it up. <laughs> Okay, let's that's, that that could be uh dangerous. painful. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm just drinking good old fashioned water. In fact it's a bottle of water that uh Troy and I had to go out this morning. Yeah. And when we went out to the car we discovered a bottle of water that I forgot in there was frozen solid. Yep. So it's still cold from this morning because we brought it in, we came back like two hours later, so we got home maybe about eleven, eleven thirty. So it's still cold from eleven thirty this morning. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the ice melted, but it's still, like, refrigerator cold from this morning, which is kind of cool. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been quite the deep freeze in the, uh, the mid, mid-U.S. and down south. Sure Cause, is. Because uh, I know uh, the Birdman in Alabama has been iced in for several days. They've, they've been going through a bad time down there. Yeah, it's like we've had um, below zero temperatures. And, uh, every time our AI tells us that it's, um, you know, like two digits, it's like, it's practically a heat wave. <laughs> Have a heat wave? Oops, sorry. Don't worry. Right, exactly. A... I'm going to get a strike. You sound too good. <laughs> you know, usually it's a claim. You usually get a or copyright whatever. claim. Yeah. Well, joining us in the chat tonight because we've got a whole bunch of lovelies out there. Um, we've got this Netters Network person saying hello to this Troy guy. You know, I, I think she's got a crush yeah, on him. Yeah, I think they need to get a room. Yeah. yeah. She's always saying hello with this heart, you know, so I think there's something going on there. You think? Oh, then there's this last call guy just, you know, yep. totally, like, loving up on her. So, you know, yeah, there's yep. something going on there. Then, of course, we have Mr. Londell's Groovy Movies. Greetings and felicitations. Hip, hip, hurrah, tally ho. We have Connie Cleary in the chat. How you doing, sweetie? We have this big owl guy. It's like, yeah, I think I know him from somewhere. He's trouble. <laughs> is he? Is he that guy? Yes. Okay. Yes, he is. Then, of course, we have Delia Scenes with his salute. Um, let's see. The beautiful Lady Mist with her... Hearts and flowers, because she's just adorable that way. Um, let's see. We have Fluff Chick production. You know, I'm thinking Birdman and Fluff Chick need to get together. <laughs> <laughs> birds of a feather. Yes. Yeah, they could talk about birds. Uh, let's see. Who is it I have here? We have Sir Torin Clegay saying good evening to everyone. How you doing, sweetie? And Geek Flag with Nate Nose in 1973. Let's see. That is that is everybody in my chat. So welcome everyone. Uh, and I'd like to know, chat, how many of you have seen the best crystal, the best crystal, the dark crystal before? <laughs> I don't know where I got best from. I wasn't even looking. You know, sometimes you know you're reading something and that word will stay with you. I'm not even reading anything that says best in it and that. Oh, I, yes, I was. I was starting to read kind of Clary's statement that her best friends from another channel is in Alabama and that's where best came from. 
Um, but yes, let me know in the chat if you've ever seen the Dark Crystal before. Now, I know Troy and I have. How about you, Big Al? Have you, have you seen the Dark Crystal before? I sure have. I remember seeing it in the movie theater. Wow. Uh, I was a young young high school student, and you know I loved loved fantasy and sci-fi and all of that ilk. And I remember when it came out, it just looked fascinating. So I went to go see it. I, think, I don't know. I, I don't know if I drove or my mother drove me. It was it was right around that time where I would have gotten my uh, uh, license. So. Okay. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's like when I was growing up, you know, I did the whole driver's ed thing. And just as I would have been, you know, like actually been able to get my license, my, my mom had a yellow Nova. It was funny. She, we, <sighs> went, she took we, had, we had like a tannish yellow Nova. Yeah, this, so, though, this okay. was bright yellow, like happy face yellow. Oh, yeah, ours was, it was bright. Tan. It was one of those things where we went to a car dealership. For whatever reason, it was just me and Mom. And she took me to this car dealership, and she's like, which car should we get? I was like nine years old. I knew nothing about cars. So I just kind of glanced around the showroom, pointed to the other one, and said, how about that one? That's the one she bought. What year? Uh, we'll see. So I was about nine, so... Uh, let's see. About 72? That's what I, I, yeah, I think we had a 10, so 71. So the year Troy was born. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's about what we had. It was like 70, 71, 72. Can't remember exactly what it was. Um, ours was a two, ours was just a normal two door. I, I will say my fantasy muscle car is a, is a souped up Chevy Nova, 1970 <laughs> Chevy Nova. Oh, those are great cars. And they don't get any love. Well, our car was okay until it got into an accident. And uh, it was one of those things where somebody rear-ended my mom, totally mm. crushed the whole back end of it. Um, I mean, the trunk pretty much was a pancake sitting into the back seat. Ugh. And, you know, mom never replaced the car. So here I am in driver's ed, car gets wrecked, I got nothing to drive. So I never went and got my license because I had nothing to go get my license on. And it was like, and we didn't have a car anyway, so it's like, why bother? So here it is, you know, only a few years later, because, you know, we all know I'm only 27 with this year's experience. Uh, I never bothered to get a license because I never had a car. And, you know, when I was, uh, you know, even growing up past that, I lived in an apartment, so there was buses and trains everywhere. So, you know, it never occurred to me, mm -hmm. hey, maybe you should go try and get a car because buses and trains went everywhere. And I grew up on public transportation, so it was a no-brainer for me to jump on the bus, jump on the train, whatever. Um, even out here in the burbs, it's like I can take a bus to most places or, or a bus to a train to get me to places. So, you know, I never really thought about it too much. Um, I mean, we do have a car, Troy drives. Mm -hmm. And I've actually gone to get my permit a few times. And, you know, like we've gone for uh, trips out of town to visit his parents in Ohio and all that. Or his mom, I mean, his, his, excuse me, his uncle. And I've driven on my permit. I'm really good on the highway. I mean, he could tell you. It's like he would just be sitting in the passenger seat chilling and I'm passing by trucks and all this and <laughs> and all that sort of thing. But it's like, you know, we'd get back home. He's like, okay, we should go get your license, you know, because it would be fresh driving in my head. And we just never went. So I still don't have a license after all this time. Oh, so, Lord. Yeah, it's like, whatever. <laughs> no, I got I, I got mine on a 1979 Ford Fairmont. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. This is a good line from Geek Flag. It's so cold outside that for once politicians have their hands in their own pockets. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Delia C said this is the first time seeing it in many years. Got the 4K fired up. Uh, Geek Flag said, first time I saw Dark Crystal, I remember it quite well. Because when my family got cable for the for the married for a time. Not sure what that is. Um, and I saw it on Super TV. Uh, Mr. Londell said, I've seen a Dark Crystal before. Actually, like the Netflix prequel series as well. 
Oh, I didn't know there was a prequel series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Age of Resistance. I, I never, I haven't gotten around to watching it. I, I was going to, and just uh, for some reason. Just the title was enough to put me off. Anything Resistance now? I'm like, okay, yeah, probably not <laughs> interested. Uh, Connie Clarissa uh, had a 1978 Nova. Dad had a Rally Nova when I when T was a baby in 71. Huh. I love a Nova. Uh, yeah, that, that, that to me, that's 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 the car of, of my childhood. Oh, it's like we've had a Honda for our last two cars, and it's been a really great car. Our last Nova we had for like 14 years. And we only lost it because we had, I don't know if, if everyone experienced this stuff or it was just worse by us or what, but it was, uh, what, 2019 or 2020? No, 2000, yeah, 2020 or, or 2019. I'm not even sure I'm saying those years right. Um, when we had that polar vortex and we had taken the car to Jiffy Loop because I had a coupon. I figure, hey, we get, you know, an oil change for, you know, for like 30 bucks instead of the usual 60, 70 that we normally pay. And of course, then that happened. Then we found out that they hadn't put enough oil in when they did the oil change. Mm -hmm. So when it, we started the car, not enough oil was going to the pistons that was needed to lubricate the engine, seize the engine. In order to replace the engine, you know, because we actually had the car towed to the, our regular mechanic. He took a look at it and said, you need a new engine. This is totally seized up. There's nothing we could do about it. And confirmed, he goes, you didn't have enough, you know, there wasn't enough oil here, and this is what happened. Now, I originally thought that the oil had frozen because it was that cold out. And he's like, no, there just wasn't enough there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, he goes to replace the engine. It's going to be anywhere from fifty five hundred, sixty five hundred dollars, or it could be more if the engine's newer. And so I talked over to Troy, and I'm like, "For that kind of money, we should just invest in a new car." Yeah. And um, so we had it towed back to our house, had it in the driveway. Um, a friend of ours that we worked with was picking us up for. He picked us up, I think, for like two days. Took us to work, took us back home again afterwards, which was really nice of him because it was super, super cold out. And in the meantime, I'm looking online for cars. Found a dealership that was like a mile, two miles away from our office and um, saw that they had a Honda Accord. You know, it was a 2018, but it had really, it had like no miles on it. Um, so it was considered to be like a new car, like, like the old miles were on it for like from either unloading it, loading it, or maybe a test drive. So there was like nothing on there. I think it has something like 23 miles on it. So we went down after work. Uh, in fact, I called them and said, we want to go down to your dealership and take a look at this car. The only thing is, you know, our office is, you know, down the street from you about two, two miles, three miles, something like that. Um, and we have no way to get there. They're like, we'll pick you up. Like, cool. So after work, they picked us up, took us to the dealership. We looked at the car. Uh, Troy took it for a test drive. And it was like, you know, he liked the way it handled. I liked the way it looked. It was my favorite color, blue. In fact, it's TARDIS blue. And yeah. uh, so we bought it and drove it home. And it's like, so we, we got that one as our second Honda. Love the car. The only issue we have with it is when it gets really, really cold. The tires seem to deflate. It's weird. I've never had a car do that. So it's like the first time it happened to us, we were buying it while it was cold outside. And we brought it back saying, there's something wrong with the tires. The air keeps uh, coming out of it. They're like, oh, yeah, with these cars, when it gets really, really cold, sometimes the air comes out a little bit. It's nothing to be concerned with. There's nothing wrong with the tires, but you just got to fill them up. So forewarned. It's like, that would have been nice to know before we bought the car, so I could have maybe looked at a different one with different type of tires. But, but I like it. Yep. And like I said, our last one was 14 years old. These cars last. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This one, this one, and I just, and, it, and what killed me too is I just paid off the car a year earlier. So it was like, great, I don't even have a car payment. Now I got a car, car payment again. So we just paid off this car a couple months ago, last year. 
I want to say something like, actually, I can look at my my little bill payee thing I got here because I was just paying for like the mortgage and stuff. If I recall, I've got a little note here. Yeah, I, paid out I no, November of last year. I remember making that last payment on my uh, Ford uh, F-150. I was like, it's mine at last. Well, it's not yours until you get the title. Oh, uh, well, yeah, no. you know what I mean, though. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I made uh, that, that last payment, and it was one of those things where it's like, we owed, I want to say something like $3,000 left on the car, and my my payment was five fifty a month, and I'm like, we owe 3000 I can conceivably pay this off, and then we're done with that. Now, I can put that five fifty towards something else if I wanted to, or just save it. Mm-hmm. And so I paid it off, and then I was like, you know, when I got the time, I'm like, we own the car, Troy. It's like, oh, we got the title? I'm like, yeah, I paid off the car. He's like, cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a really good feeling when you pay off your car and you got that title in your hand. Yep. I remember I that, and, I, and I, remember the, I remember my last payment on my student loan. Uh <laughs> I just, yeah, it's it's a it's very good feeling when that happens. Yeah, I remember paying off Troy's student loan. And yeah. That one was was kind of interesting because it's like, you know, you had a set payment, let's say, was something, I think his was something like like $250 or something like that, or $270, something, you know, that was yeah. a slight off amount. And there was one month that I had a little bit extra I could put towards it, so I think I paid something like 350 And then the next bill I saw... It had dropped significantly. I'm like, wait, I only made a little bit more of a payment. It dropped this much? Hmm. Because all the interest wasn't there. So I kept doing more and more and more until, you know, it's like, okay, if it's regular payment, sis, let's see, I could do, you know, 400 this month. I could do 500 this month. And got that sucker paid off really quick. The only thing is, they don't give you like a title or anything when you pay off your student loan. <laughs> then you can be like, I own this now. Um, but I am waiting to get my house paid off. What's interesting is if I go online to the bank that holds our mortgage, they're saying that we have like 143 more payments on the house. When I do the math, I got 62 payments left on the house. I'm like, where are they, how are they doing their math? Because, no, <laughs> I don't own that much. You know, if I take the payment amount times um, how much, how many months left they say I have. It's like, I, I don't own that much. That's like almost the same cost as the house. No, I don't own that much. <laughs> but I, I hope to pay it off. Well, I'm not going to pay it off next year, that's for sure, but um, it'll be paid off soon enough. I always do extra towards the principal, so it does that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how did we get on the subject of this? Uh, <laughs> anyway. Chevy Nova. <laughs> yeah. The titles and all that. So, um, Cosme Link is pinned to the top of the chat for those of you who want to follow. See, I was just vamping so that people can get in and get to where they need to be. That's what it was. There you go. Um, so, the Cosme Link is pinned to the top of the chat. Um, if you want to follow along, just click on that Cosme Link. Or I should say right okay. click on the Cosme Link. It opens up in a brand new tab. You can come into the uh, nice warm waiting room where we got a fire blazing and, you know, warm me up there in this cold winter uh. and uh, we'll be starting momentarily as soon as I type good evening I've got 133.07 uh, what do you got that's, babes? that's how long mine was hold on a second I'm, I'm getting the, uh, the share screen together so oh, okay. okay he's doing his thing uh, I'm seeing uh, see what happens when, when I go off on a tangent? It's there's like, 133 something. I can't see from there. Yeah, so that's about the same. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's not on the screen, so I can't tell you. It's because we haven't started yet. Well, fine. Okay, if everybody is ready to watch The Dark Crystal, we'll get started in. Wait, Wait. are you ready, hon? No, no, you're not. No, I'm not. All right, hold on. Full screen. There we go. Okay. We're going to get started in three, two, one, play. Mm -hmm. It 
cool kind of space aging music. And apparently, we this was a Universal film. Universal. Which Man, that was a one? that was a big noise at the beginning too. And it's like Universal used to be one of my clients when I did Lord Grade self insurance. A Jim Henson film. Yep. Yeah. Because so, they're puppets. Still one of the great tragedies of him dying so young. Yeah. Agreed. Here's the backstory. And I heard that the concept of the film, the crystal kind of was like, a later concept. It was originally called the Dark Chrysalis. Oh, yeah. and a guy, a guy was doing art for it, misheard, understood, and thought it was crystal, and started drawing stuff for crystals. And Jim Henson liked the idea, so he kind of wrote it with the crystal in it. Nice. Happy accident. Yeah. Serendipity. I hear skex season, it just makes me think sleazy. <laughs> well, what was that show that had the sleaze, that sleaze snacks? Yeah. Land of the Lost. Land yeah, the Lost. that was it. Well, you put those those K's and S's sounds, those that yeah. slither skeksies, and lizard, yeah. sl the, that lizard, yeah, kind of a sound, and yeah, lizard sure has that negative, yeah, yeah negative Life, the new civilization. Oh, wait, sorry, wrong thing. The power of gray skulls. Oh, sorry, still wrong. Mm -hmm. Dun dun dun. And a, gr and a great design on the title, too. So fantastical. Yeah. Okay, was, let's find the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, yeah. okay, that's where you went. I was thinking this was the early prototype for the Death Star. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Trevor Jones said that he's like, cool. And I mean, this really does demonstrate the the talent of of Jim Henson and his, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the the company that he started, because literally everything here is some form of puppet, right? Muppet, whatever. And I mean, in the entire concept, I mean. This was a brand new universe, new story, yeah. new characters. This is the kind of stuff we need now. Right. Someone to come up with this great new new universe. They've got four arms, which means they are probably well suited to make Bantha surprise. Yes. 
whipster, stir, whip, whipster. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. I like the, re the reason they have four arms is the, uh, the original design is based on a troll design. Uh-huh. And to change it up, they gave it four arms. Good idea. Oh, no, not a prophecy. Mm -hmm. And what gets me is the movements of some of these creatures looks so natural. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like there when he's running. Yeah. Or little creatures scurrying around on the ground. It's like, did they like just put makeup on a mouse or something? Yeah, <laughs> like a like a ferret or something. Yeah. You know? of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. <laughs> Pay attention what he's telling you. Maybe you should have told me the whole story. I hate when they get cryptic. It's like, just yeah. tell me. Yeah. And he's like, shard? What shard? You know what told me about no shard? It's like, why do you wait until you're dying to tell me all this? You couldn't have told me this over the past year or so? Right. And now I got a deadline because, you know, I could have been searching for it this whole time, but no. You got to give me like a 24-hour deadline. Yeah, you should have. I mean, we were just saying that. You should have told me this stuff a long time ago. I could have been looking for it this whole time. <coughs> I like his little bed. It's got like the little place just for his, for his chin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it shows that they thought through the anatomy of this very alien creature. You know, form follows function. <laughs> I was looking at the picture, I was like... Ooh, there's a dark night sky with just that one single star. And I'm like, wait, that's not a star. That's the light from 
for my camera. Yeah. <laughs> and those walls look like they're made of clay. <laughs> look, two parents love... meeting on the street. <laughs> I just love how they're they're like the vulture design. It's just yeah, so, so perfect. <laughs> I would like yeah. them. Oh, that one's dying too, huh? <laughs> Not yet! <laughs> it's like, back off, you vultures. But I'm bump. Yeah, right? Sure about that, dude? You're still in power? Not anymore. The only two absolutes in the universe death and taxes. Oh, he's just. This, he's falling apart. Yeah. I gotta say, that was a pretty darn good effect, too. Yeah. Just crumbling away. I ain't cleaning that. <clears throat> what well, makes cremation go a lot easier? That's because he didn't give you the whole story, and now he can't. Yeah, you'll figure it out, kid. <laughs> He's now one with the force. Courage of the heart is very rare. The stone has a power when it's there. Oh, wait, sorry, wrong movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. The Cosmic Link is pinned to the top if you want to follow along. And you too, Samuel Proctor. Welcome, welcome. No singing tonight. Yeah, no <laughs> singing. Just bad jokes. Well, I'm also trying not to have a ton of silence while we're watching true, it true. and getting involved in the film because I did that on, I forget whose channel it was. Um... I just you happen to pop in to to watch. I'm like, I'm not hearing anything. I thought there was something yeah. about my sound until I realized they're watching a, a, the with the film they're watching. They were, they weren't talking. Right, right. So, so sometimes you get very into a scene. True. Yeah. And it's like you don't want to talk, but. <laughs> okay, I like this one from deleted scenes. This gem in the holograms prequel is weird. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, truly outrageous. Said, truly, it is. truly, truly outrageous. Geek Flag said his body deteriorated that way because he's been using the power of the crystal to prolong his life for hundreds of years, so his deterioration was rapid. Yeah. Yeah, that it was a vampire and someone got sunlight in.
It's like, you dare challenge me? Yeah, he does. Sounds like fun. Let's get stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's what I sound every time I pick up a sword. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting West Side Story fight Bob vibes here. I'm just waiting for them to start singing. <laughs> when you're a Skeksis, you're a Skeksis. Oh, <laughs> it is uh, an interesting way to, uh, you know, to execute a challenge. We're both going to hit this stone one at a time and see which one can break off a chunk. That was a nice Bruce Lee yell he had yeah. going on there. <laughs> yeah, like weak blow. That was a weak blow yeah. on your eyes. Not fair. Off with his head. <coughs> We're having chicken tonight. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, th this movie is not safe for work. Oh, uh, no, no. It's a naked. What, what are those things called? Skeksis. Skeksis? Skeksis, yeah. Hey, he's naked. <laughs> naked Skeksis. Voicemail. I mean, yeah, we're busy. Right. <laughs> I got one of those uh, those calls where it sounds like a human being, but it's really like an AI talking. Um, yeah. Something about solar panels for our house. Oh yeah. And I started off with, um, so how are you doing today? And I said crummy, and they just hung up. <laughs> <laughs> because their AI couldn't handle it. They're expecting you to um, 
when they you, they answer the phone, I mean, they always tell you the latest scam thing is never say yes when you're on the phone to anything. So when I answer and I say hello, and they're like, you know, is this Nana Pacelli? It's like, how may I help you? I don't even acknowledge it's me. It's just, how can I help you? And then they don't know how to handle that either because I'm not saying yes. So they can't capture that to like try and do some scam thing with me of using me agreeing to something that I'm really not agreeing to. And when you don't follow their script, it throws them off so they hang up on you. Big weird crabby turtle things. <laughs> I always thought they were just giant beetles. <laughs> yeah, but they got like the crab claw. Yeah, kind of, you're right. Armored insectoid warriors. <laughs> oh, look at all those rocks. Yep. Ooh, what baby? He's like, say what? I like the way they're skidding around the rocks. I don't think your master would have sent you there if, you know, she was someone that was going to murder you. Yeah, no, he just got captured. <laughs> he got an eye on you. Yes. That's the thing nightmares are made out of. If it looks like a gelfling and smells like a gelfling, it's probably a gelfling. Get over it. <laughs> Could be anywhere then. Well, the thought had crossed my mind, yeah. <laughs> I love that. She literally just tells the vines, drop him. <laughs> It's like in Santa Claus Comes to Town, it's like, Willie Willow, Peter Pine, yeah, let him yep. go. You gotta give it up to the designer who did that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's something. And you know what that is? It's it's a cosmological model. You know what? We, <laughs> you know we we've had those you know throughout history. But if you understand how those cosmological models work, and you look at this, that implies a lot of planets that they are aware of. That's really kind of a cool little doodad yeah. they got going there with their planets or what have you. It's like duck. Yeah. I want to say she was based on a, I want to say a Stygian witch. Makes sense, sure. Yeah. But I'll tell you, if I was Jen, I'd be like, why are you so angry? Yeah. Why do you keep yelling at me? That's a great conjunction. Anything. <laughs> Don't know. But one of those. Now he's got to carry all those crystals with him to find the dark crystal and heal it. And he doesn't know which one's going to fit, like like a key in a lock. back to a memory where they tell me how to choose the, yeah. the crystal. Hum at it. It's that one. It's purple. Yep. told no. me anything. Uh -uh. Hey, CK. Hey, Wolfie. Hey, guys. Big crab monsters. Yeah, you right. thought she was mad before. Now she's really pissed. Grab the crystal and run. Grab the crystal and run. Go on, grab the crystal and run. Whoop, whoop. It's like, thanks for the assist, guys. I'm going to go out this window here. Thanks. So let me get this right, because this was universal. Netflix made the series and it's not part of Lucasfilm. Am I right? I don't know. Because so much of the stuff that... that uh, now, are, are you talking about... Did, yeah, are you talking about this now? Yeah. 
Yeah. Because uh, so much of, of what Henson did, he did in conjunction with Lucasfilm, but I'm like, okay, so this one, apparently not. The house is on fire. Yeah, they're confirming in the chat. Thanks. Oh, okay. We're going for a walk, boys. Or whatever. A shuffle. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of the sloth from that uh, that cartoon. Um Oh, the one with the, the bunny and the... Oh, yeah, and the fox, yeah. Zootopia, uh, right? Zootopia, yeah. That was a cute movie. I yeah. enjoyed Zootopia. <laughs> Although, I'll tell you what, Zootopia kind of rings a little bit differently after the, the past three, three to four years. <laughs> that's not good it's almost like there's a little grapey looking things in the front we're laughing at like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't want any of those critters inside my house no I mean they're cool looking but I don't want them inside my house It would make a nice pendant. Look, you can see things in it. Put the shard away in your bag. Yep, something's watching you. Yeah, CK's pointing out that everything here was handmade. Not a, not a one of these plants was, uh, was real. There's about to be an introduction to my avatar. Yep. <coughs> And he's looking at the camera like, did you see that? Yeah, was that just me or did you see that too? That's a big foot. Bigfoot. Yeah, it's a squatch. Yeah. Definitely a squatch. A Netflix squatch. What did you expect going in front of an animal hole? I know, right? Uh. Hello. Down, boy. <clears throat> and I can have guffling babies together. <laughs>
She was raised by doozers. <laughs> yep. I think that the concept of the doozers right re got resurrected in Fraggle Rock. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Going to do the rock. Because you let go of her hand, that's why it's going away. Oh, that's why he let go. He's sinking. He's like, what's happening? It's like, I don't like that thing. Yikes, that's a thing. And it wagged its tail like a dog. <laughs> Everybody needs a fizz gag. Yep. Let go. Go where? It's like, okay, I'm leaving. Bye. Oh, there's two babies. That slug looking thing. Yikes. Game of Thrones. Yeah. I do like this idea of, of utensils worn on the fingers, you know? Uh, I could probably find I need that way. I think it'd be kind of cool to have like, yeah, uh, like a little fork or finger. And... Yeah. I know I've seen this before. Uh, finger you utensils. Okay, those are chopsticks. <laughs> now I just get to watch them be disgusting as I eat. Yeah. Oh, I mean, did one of them actually use a napkin? Something stuck on my teeth. You see, you have a fork on one finger, and you got a little pick for your yeah. toothpick on another finger, and and just stick your face in the bowl. <laughs> well, that's because it's, it's soup, or it's to wash your face mm. after you've been a pig. I think it's to wash your face. Try to get away. Ha, ha, ha. 
okay, this is funny. I found a Reddit um, thing on somebody's got a little knife and, and fork on their fingers. Uh-huh. And one of the first comments is, this is Skeksis thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, is this where you can buy them? No, it's more Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not the crystal bats. Yeah, right. So what's interesting here is you got this prophecy, right, that the, mm -hmm. the Skeksis will be overthrown by a Gelfling. Right. So what do they do? They go out and they kill all the Gelflings. One survives, you know, to obviously he's the, 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 the one, you know, the, a prophecy. With a heck of a grudge. <laughs> and now, yeah, well, both of the, the surviving skel, uh, uh, Gelflings, you know, have a, have a bone to pick with the Skeksis. So it's like, congratulations. If you'd just left them alone, you, they would never have come after you. Right. Yep, a single shines the triple sun. What was sundered and undone shall behold the two made one by Gelfling hand or else by none. It's coming. What is that thing? It's one of those crystal bats. It's like a, it's like a probe droid. Whee! Yep. Good shot. I just said you weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> It did now. I mean, really, it is just like the, the probe droid scene. Yeah. I ho, I ho, it's off to the castle we go. Ula Ula Yeah, no, they're doozers. They are absolutely doozers. Yeah. Yep. Did someone say Pika Pika? <laughs> 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 Okay, I just went down a rabbit hole. I was looking, I found one site on Google that appears to have the fork for the finger. So I was one, looking to see if they had the knife for the finger too. Uh huh. And I came across a mini archery bow set, like a compound bow. And I'm like, how much do I want this? <laughs> <laughs> it's metal construction bow and it comes with uh, 10 steel tipped arrows. That can pierce an uh, aluminum can. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but then again, a pencil can pierce an aluminum True. can. <laughs> and then there's a the ne very uh, next time down is everything I want to do is illegal. <laughs> yeah. 
Nub nub. Beep up a nub nub. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Now they're Ewoks. They look like Ewoks. It's the great something or other. Yeah, that helps. And then he died. Ooh, that ecstasy is pretty powerful and uh Yeah, abuse. exactly. That's what she said. Yeah. Party's over. But these guys are everywhere. Somebody break out the old bay. Yeah. I mean, do they have a pot big enough? <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Right? But the one cool thing, you, know, we met, you mentioned it earlier. It's like, these are all Muppets. They're yep. all creation. But we're sitting here watching it, and you're buying them as living beings. Yeah. You're completely invested in them. When one of them gets killed, you feel bad. Right. I wonder if that affectation is just so that we could tell them apart so we know he is the one that was exiled. I wouldn't be surprised. Or at least... It's an, it's an interesting character aspect, but it, it definitely does help to yeah. kind of set them apart. Although they do have... When you really look at them, they, there are differences. This crystal is cursed. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to pick something off the ground and put it on to your open wound. Well, she knows what she's doing. You know, reminisces on um, what he had heard before. The old masters. <laughs> I 
dog is like safe. Well, what's important is you're not dead yet. <laughs> We're not dead yet. I feel fine. Is that the crystal shard sitting on that rock there? Probably. Pick it up. That was right. Yeah, that's where everybody died. Neglected garden. All I see is Rebecca with the Warnay now. Right? Right? Doesn't sound like her, but definitely looks like her. Oh, it's a throne. What are these cave drawings? What's writing? <laughs> it means that you're the prophecy fulfiller. <laughs> Like, yeah, we screwed up. That's true, he did. I would assume it was a trick, too, yes. Yeah, go to the castle. So I'm going to be sacrificed, and then maybe I can be let back into my exactly. uh, clan. <laughs> please, please, please. Yeah, no. No means no. It's like I need my GPS to come and, and help us. <laughs> Right. These are cool things. Yep. Yes, I do, because you don't know where you're going. 
together again. Oh, sorry, different Jim Henson film. <laughs> How long are we a fit? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Wee! <laughs> what you call it? Triple with an attitude. Yeah. I love when you see uh, cosplayers and yeah stuff doing doing creatures. Yeah. On a similar design. Yep. I've seen that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And there was one that was on, like, a YouTube short and basically trying to get a reaction from the dog. And the I dog saw like, that when I was telling Netter about whatever. it, yeah. And, and the, the dog dog's was... like, what are you doing now? That doesn't look good. <laughs> Deal the power of the dark side. The beam's going to take all your lives. That's not good. Ooh. Man, cataracts are bad. Yeah. I mean, he looks like somebody who watched the sequel trilogy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or Clockwork Orange. With yeah, those right. Are in his eyes. And welcome the Potawatomi. Welcome USSARNG. You mean USARNG? USARNG, yeah, that'll do too. <laughs> How are you guys doing? And the Clue Channel. Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, User G, we're watching The Dark Crystal. If you want to watch along, at the top there's a Cosme Link pin. Uh, if you click, uh, right click on that, it'll take you right into the movie where we're at. Yeah, Bumble Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, yeah.
This is Sparta! <laughs> That's right. Then we'll fight in the shade. Right, exactly. That had to hurt. Oh. She can fly. Chick got <laughs> That's what they're saying too. They fly now? Yeah. Yeah. Chick's got wings. Even back then it was woke. Yeah. You're just a boy. You got wings. No, wait a minute. It, it wasn't quite woke yet because, nah, you know, true. he's yeah. got to identify as a girl and then he can have wings. Right. It was basically saying you don't have female bits because you're a boy. <laughs> yeah, that would trigger people today. Gelf gender politics. Right. That little thing's gonna climb all those rocks? Maybe. Maybe. You don't know, maybe he's a really, really good climber. Hey, you see those goats are like standing on the side of a, yeah. of a cliff here and you're like, how can they do that? Exactly. But they do quite easily. You should have thought of that before he came in the first place. We must keep moving forward. It's like, yeah, don't trust him. Come on, don't you bite him. Ooh, the crystal is a weapon. He felt it. Yeah, you're getting this one-to-one -one connection between them. One yeah. dies, the other one dies. One gets his hand gashed, he gets his hand gashed. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, you know, knowing how it ends. Yeah. I think there's something really beautiful about it. Yeah. Jeez. 
It's like, what? You guys act like you saw a spider or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, it would be like if one of us were to go, Oh my God, it's a cat! Ah! <laughs> well, if we saw a cat currently, it would probably be my mischief kitty. Okay, yeah, act. you're right. That, then I would react that way. You're right. You'd be like, you little snot, what you doing here? But I haven't seen him in a rather long time. I'll hear him every once in a while, though. My cat died like six years ago, so. But every once in a while, his uh, spirit will be in the house, and I'll hear him meow. Or feel him jump on the bed. Drink your essence. Well, wouldn't taking your essence kill her? No. Turn her into a zombie like the no. doozers or whatever. Uh, he's all happy now. <laughs> Loodly doop. Aww. Such an expressive face for a little fuzzball. Right. I know, right? Don't look into the light. Don't look into the light. You looked into the light. Blinded by light. Yep. Wrapped up like a gelfling, and now she's got to fight. Huh. Call the animals. They're going to force her to watch a Michael Bay movie or <laughs> Zack Snyder, yeah. <laughs> it's like, call all the animals. Wolfie said, Kira's a Disney princess. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the difference, right? When when the Disney princesses call the, the, the woodland animals, they bring her a dress and help her get dressed and clean up and stuff like that. <laughs> She's calling them to attack. 
You want to catch a doozer? You got to think like a doozer. Got to catch him all. Wow. That that was so cool. I remember yeah. when I first saw that, I was like, oh, man. Yep. And everyone's on phase. It's like, yeah, that's how, just how it goes. Torrin says, or the daughter of Dr. Doolittle. I think in this modern age, it would be, uh, his daughter would be, uh, what, like, do it all or something. Yeah, it's not good. Where am I now? Where am I now? Where am I now? <clears throat> that can't be good. Why does it look like the inside of Superman's fortress? Yeah, it does. Fighting? No, like uh, when uh, Krypton was being destroyed. Yeah. Almost there. Stay on target. <laughs> yeah, you can scale that, no problem. You know, like those goats. Yes. <laughs> That's a mess. Trying to find her eye. Here comes the sun, Papa Dita. That tone looks like an intestine. It's like, no pass without the password. We're going to sing to you instead. Like, uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Stop singing, please. <laughs> I just run across the screen. Oh. See, rolling around like that, how do they know where they're going? I How you gonna get your shard into it? That's what every guy's trying to figure out. <laughs> it's 
the slow shuffling ones. Oh no, these are not good peoples. There is Skeksis. Oh, look like they were wearing armor. break my leg. Yeah, now you're going to get your piece of the shark into that one. Because you got to get into that itty bitty little hole. What are you going to do? Throw it at it? Okay there, Al? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, just I get in that relaxed state and, you yeah. know, my throat gets relaxed like that. Shift up a little bit. Where she could see you and wave. Hello. <laughs> like Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes. Hello. I also heard they were they had original they had thought about making him blue. I'm so glad they didn't. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so to speak. <laughs> Darn it, Fisgig! <laughs> What he should have done, or should do, is get is go give her the crystal so she can fly down and put the piece in. Yep. Shard. <laughs> no. And she's not looking too good after getting uh, her soul sucked. Yeah. <laughs> A little pale. Fly up and put it in a hole. Heal the crystal, then save your girlfriend. 
I'm on a never ending quest, quest to, to save, save my girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> 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 now y'all done tick me off and I'm going to heal this crystal. Yep. See, that's a great point. You know, I, I had said earlier, you killed all the Gelflings. Now they want to, you know, destroy you. Mm -hmm. You've you just doubled down on it again. It's like, put the thingy in there, stupid. I hate when they, they hesitate. It's like, just do the thing. Uh -oh. uh. My girlfriend's dead. And all uh. the big cockroach yeah. looking things are falling apart. Yeah. No crab cakes tonight. This is being renovated. <laughs> Out with the old and with the new. Did she find her eyeball yet? No, she had her eyeball. No, she was looking for the debris because she couldn't find it. See, she's not wearing it. She only had one. No, she's got one she takes out. Oh. It was sitting on the table at one point. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what do you want from me? I'm holding on with the only gripper I got. <laughs> I like how the darkness is going away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Revealing white crystal underneath. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I don't know if I'd want to be standing under all that when it's falling down like that. We are compelled. The power of the crystal compels you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <coughs> and I love the I love the music during the sequence too. It's like, come here. We're gonna mate now. Yeah. Well, I think it's more like reunify. Yeah. The crystal was healed, now they're healed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's great for you guys. It's like, now heal my girlfriend. Too ugly. I love their design. I think it's so cool. Well, I like the fact that it's a completely different creature. Yeah. Well, that's on you. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what he's saying. Yeah, 
It's like, this is what I did for you. What you gonna do for me? You gonna heal her? I saved my girlfriend. Well, not only is she healed, but you know... She, she looks better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's de-zombified. Mm -hmm. In other words, go forth and multiply. Because you're the only gelflings left. Mm -hmm. Now us aliens are gonna just kind of disappear. Wee. See, and I get the impression that they all became one. You know. Mm hmm. I know, I'm kind of getting Superman vibes here. <laughs> well, it's because it's very similar special effects. Kind of pretty that little crystal tree over there to the side of the It's a castle. Oh. It's what the castle became after the reuniting after, thing. Yeah. It would be nice if you now saw Gelflings because they've been made alive again. Like just kind of walking around playing. Sir whatever. Torrance says, and Poochie died on his way back to his <laughs> home world. I got that <laughs> reference. <laughs> Poochie. And then if this is a cycle of a thousand years, something will happen where they split again in an age where there's tons of Gelflings. Yeah. Skeletor's castle, Connie said. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was uh, a thing. Like the character of uh, Fizz Gig. It's like, there was a voice. It was kind of. I mean, some yeah, of make those the voices. Vo vocalizations, yeah. I mean, just like I was through the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the ornamentalist. I love the names of of the Skeksis. The ornamentalist, the treasurer, the chamberlain. <laughs> right. Special visual effects, only two people. That's impressive. <laughs> wow. It's a special, of a special visual effects. So There's just two guys. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. It's like, hmm. The property disaster. Okay, choreography and mime training. Wow, yeah. Special sound effects created by Ben Burt. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's why I'm surprised this wasn't a, a Lucasfilm production. Mm -hmm. With all the people, you know, that were associated with Lucasfilm being, in, you know, involved. Well, they were busy uh, shooting Return of the Jedi. True. Wigs and hair. Do 
Gary Kurtz. Yep. And it's amazing, like it's amazing, like this time and films like this, you see so many similar names. Mm -hmm. Oh, Industrial Light Magic did the the matte paintings. What? Yep. No, no caterer? No caterer? Well, they were Muppets, so... Right. Yeah, but the performance... Yeah, but there was, there was operators and all the crew and stuff. They had a pizza party. Possibly. <coughs> yeah, I just found out my favorite pizza place is on DoorDash. Now. Oh, there you go. It's a little local place. It's, I got a, a year earlier, and I've been kind of grazing on it since we came back from um, being out today. There you go. There is the Dark Crystal. Classic, classic fantasy movie. Yep. Yes, awesome. Yes, Yeah, it's like, and of course, everyone loves a happy ending. Mm-hmm. So that was sweet. Of course, it would also have been nice if they couldn't show a bunch of gelflings running around. They at least showed them with a baby. A baby, yeah. You know, to show mm -hmm. that the future was secure, I guess. No, I don't know. If there's only two, that's going to be kind of a genetic bottleneck. Hey, it worked <laughs> for Adam and Eve. <coughs> I guess. <laughs> Life, ha, ha, ha. Finds, a, finds way. a way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, especially when you got prophecies on your side, right? Yeah. You know? So they have, like, twins and triplets and quadruplets and, you know. <laughs> so. And you can find a little gelfling sect on the other side of the world there. You never know. That's a good point. We don't actually know that they're the only two. You know, they both thought they were the only ones. They were the only two in that area. <laughs> Wolf Town so they can meet with the podlings. No, nah, I don't think so. Fraggles, maybe. <laughs> but not doozers. <laughs> okay, Geek Flag said, Dark Crystal cost $15 million a night and made $41.5 million in U.S. box office. Halfway through, it's a run. E.T. E e was released, released and... Killed, killed the, the rest, rest of, of the box office in 1982. Yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's killer. It is. Although, again, I, I have to remind people, everyone is so focused on just what happens in the theater. You got to take into account, too, they then licensed it to cable and made a good amount of money made there. Better. Yeah. And, you know, this, this was not without marketing dollars. You know, there's a lot of merchandise out there still. Related to Dark Crystal. So I think they yeah, probably they, turned out okay. Yeah, they so Troy says, hey, Ma, I got a fraggle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they had, they had books and things. I mean, it's still popular. Like I said, eventually did did a series on uh, Netflix, which sadly I don't think did. I don't know how well received it was. I, meant, I, kept, I meant to watch it, just never did. Maybe yeah. I will one day. Just yeah. Up and binge it. Like a good binge. Like a good binge every now and then. Yeah, it's like I do it every Friday night. <laughs> but I'm about Yep. Okay. So now that we've watched the feature film, let's talk about what's coming up. So today was Saturday. So it was movie night. Tomorrow is Sunday. It's a full day. Yes, it is. Sorry, yep. I know you've got all the little notes for that. So. Yeah, starting with uh, Deleted Scenes, Jedi Bill with uh, Western Cinema Presents. I think that's at like 3 in the afternoon or something like that. If you're still here, Deleted Scenes, you know, let us know exactly. Maybe even let us know what the film is. Uh, let's see. Uh, then uh, after that, of course, uh, Unscripted. That's at 7 Central. 
uh, 8 Eastern, again, on Deleted Scenes. Then you can jump on over to, uh, 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 who's that guy? Uh, Age of Boomer. Age of <laughs> Boomer at 8 o'clock, 9, uh, nine no, 8 o'clock Central, 9 Eastern for... Uh, 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 geeky geezers? Yeah, that's it. The geeky geezers, and yes, I, I, yeah, we're we're gonna be talking about the, uh, the um, geek news, the uh, uh, the war going on for for Disney. We're gonna talk about uh, uh, you will own nothing and be happy. At least that's what Ubisoft is telling us. Um, some upcoming uh, film projects and. Uh, even more dismal Disney, and uh, the return of Alec Baldwin to court. Yeah, that, that will be uh, that will be on Geeky Geezers, and then uh, we'll close out the weekend with deleted scenes, uh, eleven Central, midnight Eastern for the other side of midnight. When his guest will be uh, guest Jason Fox, the founder of uh, uh, Five Forty Studios. So. Make sure you uh, make sure you are, you know, make sure you're subscribed to Deleted Seeds, especially because, you know, he's he's got all the programs all the time uh, over on his channel. Because then Tuesday, also on Deleted Seeds channel, Netter and myself and Agent Boomer will be there uh, with him live from Sparkwood and 21, where, uh, well, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but uh, let's just say that uh, that Audrey uh is, is still a prisoner and her uh her life hangs in the balance so we'll see what happens with that and then uh thursday netter thursday 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 is a thursday on thursday things my special guest will be sin's corner i'm really looking forward to having her on and you should be too she's cool she yep is. yep I'm glad I was able to snag her to come on to my show. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's good people. She's good people. And that brings us around to Friday where uh, you can watch me uh, get drunk on stream and, and chat with me. And I don't know what the topic is going to be or if I'll have a guest. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely going to be a booze night. So that's. So you know what drink you're going to have. I haven't decided that Isn't that yet. the important thing? No, I haven't decided, although that brown mumbler was really good. I literally was mumbling by the end of the uh Oh, stream, yeah. So. Um, may I suggest you do something different than a brown mumper? Uh, yeah. You should, do it, yeah. you should do it like a tiki night. <laughs> I feel like that's the kind of thing you do in the summertime, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's like that actually reminds me. I probably should uh, uh, make some more um, uh, buttered rum, especially now with it like hovering around zero outside. Yep, oh. you've got a whole bottle of that white rum that you can use, just like you did last time. <laughs> Absolutely, and uh, you can't fool Pops. I'm not trying to fool you, but welcome. So glad you're here. I'm sorry we just we just wrapped up the film and we're closing out. Uh, if you happen to have your own copy or a stream of uh, The Dark Crystal, you could uh, rewind to the beginning and sync it up with us, but... Uh, we certainly, certainly appreciate you uh, stopping by and uh, encouraging us. And that brings us to, did I just say Friday? So that brings us to next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Next Saturday. What are we doing next Saturday, Big Al? Next Saturday on uh, Big Al Presents Films with Friends, we're going to be watching Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. Little mm -hmm. Diesel Punk. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yep. From 2004, starring uh, Jude Law and Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie. Yep. Looking forward to it. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Fun, fun film. Great, some great visual stuff in that one. I love it. Uh, CK brings up the. Uh, he keeps meaning to get some of that moonshine from John Schneider. Actually, I do too. Been wanting to, but uh, yeah, just didn't get around to it. But I should. I really should. John Schneider sells moonshine? Uh, it seems kind of on brand, doesn't it? I mean... Is it really moonshine if it's legal? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's just whether or not you have a license to produce it. That's what it is. And uh, I got to be honest with you. Huh. What? Revenue reserve 
Moonshine. Yes. I'm actually going to drop a link to that because it's kind of cool. There you go. Uh, yes, it is legal if you have a license to distribute. That is really what they're going after you for. Yeah, but still, that it just then it's not moonshine. It's just grain alcohol or whiskey or whatever they're doing. Cor, you know, corn out corn whiskey or whatever. It's not moonshine should be illegal. No, that, that, I mean yeah, you know what I, I, you know what I well, mean. That's, you get you, you, get you understand to, my concept though. You have to understand moonshine is what it's called, just like marijuana is called marijuana, and they will go after you unless it's legal in your state. See, you know that's that's pretty much okay. The way it now works. here's the dilemma. Yeah, there's three different types. What there's type? apple pie, uh -huh. original, mm -hmm. and blackberry. You can purchase three bottles or more, and shipping's free. But it's like. How do you decide what you want? Do you get one of each? I do would get one of each, yeah. One or, well, apple pie is going to be sweet, and you may not like it. You might like the blackberry. I've had apple pie. Well, not necessarily his brand of, of apple pie moonshine, but I've had it before. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now I'm curious as what this... Where do I got to buy this stuff? Well, hold off, because I've got an account already, so... Oh, of course you do. Well, he doesn't just sell moonshine. I got that 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 uh, uh, CD for you. Oh, okay. From him, yeah. yeah. But I wasn't realizing it was the same spot. Yes, exactly. What, okay. What, do you buy? Do you buy your? How do you get your alcohol? Do you buy it delivered? Uh, no, we no. go to Benny's. Well, th there are a couple of alcohols I have to have delivered. Like when I got the uh, the blood wine and the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rom, you know anything you get from Star Trek like Spirits, that, right. you have to have delivered. But everything else, uh, there's a place by us called Binnie's. It's a. Oh, uh, okay. I, didn't know. I, I was I was curious because of like if you if you knew a good service where you can like get almost anything. Like oh, I, know, I never looked into it. Yeah, because I you know me not being able to get out, it'd be I wish some of them around here delivered, but they, yeah. They don't, so there's like one wine. There's like one wine place that will deliver but it's very limited selection of what gotcha you know. well the blackberry's out of stock is it that's too bad yeah but uh and and actually um use rng i think he is in um I think he's in partnership with a distributor. I don't know. I, 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 I saw when it was first announced, and I, I don't remember the details from the article that I read. But, uh, but yeah. So, um, and and you, you guys, it's probably worth checking him out on, on, on the socials. He's, he's got a, a YouTube page, and uh, he's making movies and music. Um, yeah, you should really check him out. But, okay. uh, <laughs> of course the Blackberries are out of stock. The smartphones took over the market. <laughs> so is the, uh, the regular one. Oh, I want you to add it to my cart. It let me add to my cart, then disappeared on my cart. Oh, man. Because I wanted to see what the price would be with, uh, yeah, yeah with, with three and so, so that mm -hmm. So, gee, I dropped the link and y'all just jumped on and bought it. Well, everything. it looks like, <laughs> looks like I'm just getting Apple, maybe, unless that's out of stock, too. No, Apple's got 39 mm -hmm. more. Uh, you know, uh, Tommy, he, uh, he's got a great version of himself singing, uh, good old boys on his YouTube channel. Definitely worth checking out. Oh. He ends the song with, we love you, Waylon. Aww. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Big yeah, out. Any last words? Uh, no, you know, like, thank everybody for coming by. We had a really great time. Thank you for having me and hope you guys, uh. Drop by next week for Sky Captain the World of Tomorrow and what you know, subscribe to my channel, check out some of my reviews. I'm gonna have probably one going up tomorrow for Ninja vs. Shark. Wow. Yeah. Oh wait. Usar G has got a comment. Making distilled liquor is illegal in every state without a permit. Yep. I make brandy wine because it isn't distilled like brandy, which is it requires a permit that is expensive. Uh -huh. And 
you hey, know, Easy to, Ship Herder, how are you? And to be honest with you, uh, it's not so much the making it that's illegal, it's the distribution of it that's illegal. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, well, see, I always like, I always like the the spirit of the illegality. Of I the, agree with you. Quote, unquote, I mean, moonshine because it's made, it's made, you know, deep in the forest and you know the moonshine. And... What's ironic is that the uh, the modern um, people fighting the the government to have the right to, you know, make their own whatever is the Amish right now. That's why mm -hmm. I'm, you know, Netter and I uh, contributed to the fund to help out uh, Amos Miller's farm in Pennsylvania. You want to drop the link? Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah, we've, we, yeah we've, got a, we've got a pretty significant uh, Amish community around here. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, really good people. And I, I love, you know... We used to get like our vet, you know, our vegetables and stuff like that. And one guy we know does le did leather work. And I mean, just just awesome what the Amish community can do. Um, yeah, Chris Kent said during quarantine, I spoke to my hillbilly landlord about building a still, and he just smiled. He was a shop teacher. I uh, think he knows how to make shine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, Amos Miller uh, is, they're trying to close him down because he's been selling, you know, raw milk and, and meats that haven't been uh, treated with uh, growth hormones and stuff like that. and, and, and uh, Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically the healthy stuff, right? And uh, the, 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 the lawsuit trying to defend him and his rights are basically saying the FDA does not have a right to shut down farms for doing stuff like this. They are a labeling agency. Mm -hmm. As long as you know what's in it and you know, you know, whether or not, you know, and what the FDA recommends and you say, screw you, I still want raw milk. That's informed consent. The government yeah, has no yeah. business telling you you can't. I and agree. it's the exact same thing with alcohol. You know, the, it, these licensing agencies telling you you can't make, you can't sell, you can't whatever, bull crap, you know? So that's the fight, you know, for freedom these days, folks. I'm I'm definitely on the Duke boy side on this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, in my political spectrum, I'm, I'm definitely swing on those kind of matters towards... Libertarian. Yeah. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Well, it gets me, and nobody's, I haven't heard anybody mention it, but for some reason it gets me. Have you seen that potato commercial where no. they're, they're eating potato? It's this family sitting around uh, visiting or something, and they're eating, they're getting ready to eat potatoes, and they're like, I hope you like my potatoes. I grew them myself. As like, Is your farm in Idaho? No, my backyard. They all like start throwing them away, and the old man takes his teeth out. And they're like, if it's not from Idaho, it's well, whatever. Idaho, it's Idaho potato commercial. Yeah, and I'm like, so you're saying nobody else can grow a decent potato except not Idaho. only that, but you know now the it's government something. is, and now the government is urging you to register your uh, your backyard garden uh, on the auspices of well, we can help you with recommendations and this and that and blah blah blah. It's like no. yeah yeah bull crap. You want to make sure that you know who's growing their own food so that eventually you can come out and say, you know what, you can't do that because it's not FDA approved. Screw you. It's, like, it's mm -hmm. for me and my family, so you can't tell me I can't have this. Yep. I'm not right. trying to sell it. I'm not giving it to anybody else. It's for my own consumption. Go sit on, a, you know, on an egg. Yeah. Um, exactly. Ooh, gator, gator yeah. meat. <laughs> yeah, Tommy said, untreated meat has completely different taste than the store-bought stuff. Same with gator meat. We have a gator farm not far from us that sells fresh cuts. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had, I don't know if it was, I guess it was alligator, yep. um, at this one uh, restaurant when a buddy of ours got married. Papados. Was it Papados? Okay. Yep. Um, and it was one of those things where um, they had it kind of buffet style, so you go down the line, and they had the gator mm. next to the chicken, and they looked the same. Well, I got the gator because I was curious. My son got the chicken because he has no sense of adventure. And we went and we sat down at this one table. And when my son was looking around, I took a piece of mine and put it on his plate. 
<laughs> because he's like, I'm, I'm not eating that stuff. Don't, I don't want any. Because I'd offer some to him. I said, you know, I try this. He's like, no. I don't want any. So I said he was looking around. So I slipped a piece of my gator onto his plate. And I, you know, continued eating. Didn't, didn't say anything. And then after he finished his entire plate, I said, so how'd you like the gator? He goes, what are you talking about? I had chicken. I'm like, yeah, except for the piece of gator I put on your plate. You, you ate it. You seem to have liked it. Yeah. And then, of course, he starts throwing a fit going, you put that shit on my plate. It's like, you ate it and you liked it. You can't be kicking up a fuss now. It's like, you know, it would be different if you took a bite and went, oh, what's this? Because it tasted different. It didn't. It tasted like chicken. I still have a, still have a taste for some venison. <laughs> Wish I could get some good venison. We could probably get some from your uncle, Troy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. I think he still knows somebody who, who hunts regularly. Anyway. And Connie Claire says, wicked thank you to Las Cala Troy Pacelli. Yeah. Yeah, because I just shared with her the, the link for uh, Amos Miller's, Miller's Organic Farm. Uh, organic Farm. If I could spell organic. So there you go, there you go, folks. Um, definitely worth it. I think the way that, he, that it's meant to be done is you have to kind of join a co-op so that legally you could say, you know, really he's he's growing it on your behalf. But uh, he's going for it because I don't have the land to do it. He 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 makes uh, you know 100 percent. <laughs> percent pasteurized soy free and 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 fertile eggs he does Ooh. raw full fat grass-fed cheese Ooh, 100%, pork 100 percent raw grass-fed dairy buffalo cow goat sheep and buffalo yes mm. i kind of want to get some of that buffalo to make Everyone mozzarella although he buffalo. probably has he probably it's funny because the amish probably have mozzarella that's that's more authentically italian than what you can get anywhere else in the United States. You can even get seafood. Wild yep. caught. Yep. So, there you go, guys. Mm. Oh, and small batch raw milk ice cream. Okay, Ooh. this is funny. There's one little panel that says 100% grass fed raw soy free pet food. And they show a picture of a cat and a dog. And I was just looking at the pictures originally. I'm like, they kill kitties no, and puppies? No, no, it's for the dogs <laughs> and cats, not that he's selling them yet. You can get pickled vegetables. Uh, they have a traditional bakery. Oh, that bread looks good. Um, different orchard juices and fermented drinks. Now, you are going to find a lot of the meats right now are out of stock. <laughs> That's because they just got raided by the, the FDA. FDA. Well, no, it's not the federal government. It's the state government that's going FDA. after them. You know, they've already mostly won their federal case. Now they've got to fight it all over again in court. That's why, you know, we're supporting them to... Anyway. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Okay, so I'm guessing those were your last words, sweetie? Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, I want to remind everyone to make sure that you are subscribed to the members of the panel. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to the members of the chat. And if you think you're sub to everyone, please go back and double check that you still are checked. I mean, someone told me they got unsubscribed from me twice and had to do it a third time or had to sub to me a third time. So just make sure that you are still subscribed to the people you think you're subscribed to because YouTube sucks. Yeah, um, it does. If you are interested in being a guest of mine on Thursday Things, go back to my last Thursday Things and in the description um, below our cute little pictures and everything. There is my email address and how to contact me on Twitter. Uh, but, uh, I include both because sometimes Twitter won't let people DM me, and I don't know why since I have nothing set to like block anybody. Uh, so if you find you can't DM me, then you can email me. Put in the subject line of whether it's a DM or the email that's for Thursday things so I don't think it's spam and just delete it. And tell me what Thursday you'd like to be on. Right now I am looking for, let me go to my list here. February 8th, 15th, 22nd, and then all of March and beyond. Because the end of February I've got taken by somebody. So middle of, more of February is open, so the 8th through the 22nd. And then March on, I have no guests at all, so that's all open. You want to tell me when you want to be on? I'm happy to, to pencil you in. 
My only requirements, of course, is that you have a channel uh, with your own content that you're trying to grow, and I'll have you on. Yep. Maybe we can talk about you, talk about your channel, and, and have a lot of fun getting to know, uh, know you a little bit better. Um, and with that said, we can talk amongst ourselves, and that's all well, good, and fun. But it is so much more fun when you, you know, when you guys are joining us in the chat, and you're dropping comments, questions, trivia, being goofy, whatever it may be. And it doesn't feel like we're separated by miles or continents in some cases. It feels like we're all hanging out in the same room, enjoying each other's company and having a great time. And you guys, you're not just our friends. You are our family. We love you guys, and we appreciate you so very much. You can be anywhere right now, and you're here, and that is so encouraging. I love seeing you guys every week, every show. You know, it's, it's just really, really, really encouraging. So I want to wish you all a very good night, and God bless, and we will definitely see you next time. Good night.